Hello there, this is Joshua coming at you today. Hey, what's up? So a long time ago, I did this video and it was about idolatry and it was, it was a great video. It blew up, but it was like years and years ago. And there's a lot of, has changed in my belief systems. Not, not the fundamental concept that I don't believe in the Trinity, which I don't, I don't believe in the Trinity. That has not changed. But the thing is that there's a lot of concepts that I've, I've come to understand better. I've been able to explain more thoroughly. Um, also, my presence was really bad and the quality of recordings back then was horrid. So I decided to make a new video <laughs> on that old subject. So the subject today is going to be that Trinitarian worship or the worship of the Trinity is idolatry. Straight up, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is bad. And the reason is bad. So we know about, you've heard the Lord's Prayer, right? You've heard what it's talking about. It says, I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right. No, that's not the Lord's Prayer. That's that's the first commandment. Also relevant. Very relevant. Because you're not supposed to have gods before. <clears throat> you're not supposed to dwell on anything other than God. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. That's a bad idea. So anyway, that's not, it's relevant. But it's not the quote, thing I was trying to quote. We're going back to the thing I was trying to quote, which says, um, the Lord's Prayer. It says, they say, um, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, God is not Jesus Christ. He said, Pray like this. Pray like this. If you read it in context, it says, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We are supposed to pray to the Father. Pray to the Father. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to pray to Jesus Christ. However, caveat, it does talk about worship. Let me talk about worship. It says in the Bible that we are to worship Jesus Christ. That's not the same thing as prayer. And you have to understand, from a biblical perspective, worship means something completely different than prayer. Worship is not prayer. Prayer is not worship. From a biblical perspective, they are very completely different things. Worship means to give reverence, to have awe and respect towards a person. If I worship you, it means I respect and submit to you. All right, that's all worship means. I can worship God because I have respect and worship and reverence and submit to God. And I can worship Jesus Christ because I have respect and reverence and, and submit to Jesus Christ. Prayer is something completely different. If I am trying to talk to Jesus, that is idolatry. It talks about in, in Romans how we are to, <clears throat> that we are, uh, making idols of, of animals and, and, and corruptible men, uh, immortal men, that uh, we, we, we have these images in our mind that we build up as God and we worship them and we pray to them. Very different concepts. Prayer and worship, very different concepts. We are supposed to worship Jesus Christ, yes, in a reverence and, and respectful way and a submissive way, but we are supposed to pray to God. Pray without ceasing. In all things give thanks. Okay, we're supposed to pray without stopping. Do not stop praying. People that believe in the Trinity, which is the, uh, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Dude, 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 that's not how it works. There's the Father, which is God. The Holy Spirit is the essence of God. <laughs> it's just like, what is God made out of? He's made out of Holy Spirit. Do we have the Holy Spirit? Yes, we do. We have the Holy Spirit. How about you? No, <laughs> we have the Holy Spirit. It was given to us because Jesus Christ died for our sins. The Son, Jesus Christ, the works, it says, the works that I do shall ye do also, and greater works than these shall ye do, because I go into my Father. It says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought that not robbery to be equal to God. How can Jesus, we just talk about how Jesus Christ can't be equal to God. It just says right there, Jesus Christ is equal to God. There's a difference. It's talking about if I, if Jesus Christ is equal to God and I'm equal to Jesus Christ, that means I'm equal to God, right? No. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 says the head of the man is 
Christ, the head of Christ is God, and the head of the woman is the man. There's a hierarchy. The same distance of authority there is between man and woman is the same distance of authority between man uh, and Christ, and the same distance of authority between Christ and God. There is this whole concept. What it means to be, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not wrong to be equal to God. He sees himself as righteous, just as God is righteous. And because Christ died for our sins, I am equal to Jesus Christ in righteousness. But there is a difference. Jesus Christ never did his own will. He always did the will of the Father. He's like, let this, please God, please. He's praying, praying in the mountain. Please God, I don't want to die. Please don't let them crucify me. But not my will, but thine will be done. He had, wanted to do God's will over his own will. God can't be tempted. He doesn't tempt anybody. God is a, God does not have a, he's like, God is not a man that he should lie. Okay. God cannot lie because he's not a man. Handle me and see that a spirit hath not flesh and bone as you see me have. Jesus Christ is like, listen, dude, I'm real. I have skin and flesh and bone and blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ. People say Jesus Christ was born with the Holy Spirit. I'm like, no, he was not. It says so in scripture. When did Jesus Christ receive the Holy Spirit? Um, when John the Baptist came up to him, he said, I'm going to baptize you. And he baptized him. And then the Holy Spirit descended upon him. And then he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Jesus Christ received the Holy Spirit at the age of 30. Bingo. There's no other issues there. He has the Holy Spirit now and he's good to go. The, the, the concepts abound. The, you have to understand the concept of the Trinity started in paganism. There's so many triune gods in paganism. They're, they're all over the place. And they all worship three gods as if they are the Holy Trinity. It's like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Those are the Holy Trinity, right? Bleh. It's crap. It's crap. It's, it's all throughout pagan and obviously fiction. It's the same concept. They group these three people together and say, let's worship all of them as one because they're the most popular of the superheroes or gods or whatever. We group those ones into one. We worship them and all as one. No. And this is where it becomes evil. God has no image. You cannot make an image of God. God is completely intangible. No man has seen God at any time. <clears throat> now, I know it makes references to seeing God, but that's referencing... They, okay, I've made a video about this, but seeing God, that, that uh, if you have a if you have a three dimensional object and it casts a shadow, it makes a two dimensional uh, two dimensional image. Well, if God is multi dimensional, you can have a multiple. You can have you can't see the true reality of God. If I have if I'm a there's a two dimensional person and I'm a three dimensional person. There's no way you can get lined up bisectally with his universe. So you can see the fullness of me because. I have more dimensions than just two. Two. That's that's the one. This is two. Okay. So this is my point. If you are worshiping God as a human, as an animal, as any kind of thing that you can see, reference, or hear, you're going to get trounced on by the flying spaghetti monster. The flying spaghetti monster is a great argument by atheists to crush any kind of idolatry, which I appreciate because I hate idolatry and idolatry is massive in Trinitarianism. But if you worship the only God that has no form or, or uh, substance and it, it, it inhabits all of the universe and all of reality and infuses us with his power and might, then we are worshiping the true God and we humble ourselves to every word of God. And therefore we can stand upright and, and put forth our effort and and it will not come to naught because if we continue to worship an idol, when it comes to the day of reckoning, we will be found lacking and we will be thrown into a pit of fire. Narrow and straight is the way and few shall find it. There's going to be so many people that are led astray because they're worshiping a man rather than God. And do you think Jesus Christ is going to be happy when he sees it? I can do nothing of myself. It is the Father that is in me. He doeth the work. Jesus Christ said, I am nothing. I'm a vessel. I'm just a vessel for God. If God was not in me, I'd be nothing. I'd be like you. 
I'd be just like you. And I didn't get this Holy Spirit until I was 30. All right. Anyway, leave your comments. Post them. I'm probably going to offend all a lot of subscribers and hope, hopefully they stick around. But if they don't, bye-bye. Have fun. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. I hope this made a lot of sense. And uh, I hope you come back. And Saturday is 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. We have our live stream. Bring your questions. Bring your challenges. I, I wouldn't mind talking about them. Um, I hope you show up, uh, click the dingy thingy, subscribe, share, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. If you have anything you want to, if, if you think I'm wrong in any of these respects, bring it up and I'll make another video about it. <clears throat> I'm the heretic or the zealot. I'm trying to change to the zealot. It doesn't matter. You know, I love God because of virtue, just salvation. I love those kids and God will bring them back. Yes. Anyway, virtue, justice, and salvation. I love you. I will talk to you later. You have a great day. Peace, love, and goodness. Bye-bye.